Hey everyone, Ashton here with 10 Cents. Thank you for tuning in. This is my 10,000 subscriber thank you video. Thank you everyone out there that's been there since the beginning. Thank you everyone that found me a week ago. Thank you everybody in general. When I started this, I thought there was no chance that I would ever get to this point, but here we are. And hopefully in the future, more and more people will subscribe and join the Facebook group so we can build a bigger and bigger friendly community of fragrance lovers. So a lot of you out there are aware, I'm gonna be giving away a 120 ml bottle of Creed Virgin Island water. This has not been sprayed. Uh, it's probably not great for this time of year, but just put it back until spring and summer. But I'm also gonna be giving away something additional, which I originally was not planning on giving away. And that is a 50 ml bottle of Parfums Vintage Suave. For all of you that are unaware, Suave is supposed to be Parfums Vintage's version of a vintage Lana de Lome, which actually goes for a pretty penny nowadays. They got in touch with me and asked if they could be part of the giveaway for my fans, and I said, absolutely. Uh, somebody out there is gonna be really happy to get that. Now, I did wanna do something else with this video as well, so I'm gonna give more information on how you can win these a little bit later. First off, I'm going to give some tips or some things that I've learned so that future YouTubers or people that are thinking of starting a YouTube channel or maybe people that just started one uh, can glean some knowledge that I've picked up over the past year running this channel. So hopefully this will be helpful to some of the people out there that are just starting or maybe thinking of starting. First up, if you're going to make videos on YouTube dealing with fragrances, learn how to edit, even if it's just basics. I originally used Wondershare Filmora to edit my videos, to add music, to add effects, things like that. I have since switched and now I use Adobe Premiere Elements. But I know lots of people out there are still using Filmora and that's a really inexpensive program that you can use to do editing of your videos. The main thing that I would tell you to do as far as editing goes, especially at the beginning, is to cut out a lot of that dead air. If you're thinking, if you're saying um, if there's a lot of silence, cut that out. Shorten the videos up, make them concise. I know sometimes you might think, oh, this doesn't look good. It's only a four and a half or five minute video. But if it's four and a half or five minutes of information that you're leaving in a 10 or 12 minute video, people are gonna tune out. So chop out that seven minutes that you don't need, make the video as concise as you can, and leave it that way. You can also watch other people's videos that have been doing this longer to get ideas of what you could do to improve your video. Another thing that you can do that kind of goes along with editing is to use background music in your videos. It kind of helps fill in dead air. That way there's not just silence behind you the entire time. It can help elevate your video. There are lots of places that you can find background music that you can still monetize. If you just go into YouTube and type no copyright sounds, that will pull up a bunch of channels that have nothing but music on there that you can monetize as long as you follow the instructions in the description of those songs. Another thing when it comes to music, make sure it's not too loud and not too soft. If you can't hear it at all, there's no point in it being there, but if it starts to override or compete with what you're saying, people aren't gonna like that either. The first 1,000 subscribers that you get can really be a slog, so don't give up. Initially, it's going to be very hard for people to find your videos. There are just so many videos already out there, and you're going to be competing with people that have been doing this for much longer than you have. But it is kind of like a snowball rolling downhill. The bigger that you get, the more you're going to pop up in other people's recommended videos, the more people are going to find you, which means the more subscribers you'll be able to get on a day-to-day -day basis. Just understand going in that the beginning is typically the hardest part. Another thing that I try to do with each video is to improve a little bit each time. Basically, don't settle. Don't just make something and say, well, that's good enough and I'll just leave it like that forever. If you do that, you're eventually going to be passed by people and you're going to stagnate. It can be kind of a hassle, it can be very time consuming, but that's just the truth. You will get trolls, period. Sometimes they'll show up earlier, maybe sometimes later, depending on the channel. You might get trolls hating on you on your very first video. But one thing that is for certain is that eventually you will get haters, you will get trolls. People will criticize you about literally anything that they can. They'll criticize you about the topic of your video. They'll criticize you about how you say a certain word. They'll criticize you if they don't agree 100% with what you say. They will criticize you for your lighting. They will criticize you for your choices of editing. They will criticize you for everything. And the best thing that you can do is block them, remove the comment, and forget about them. Don't let it affect your channel. They don't really matter. They just live on the internet to hate. It is what it is. And going along with that, the criticisms that I just spoke about, there will be lots and lots of people, probably the majority, 
that criticize you just because they like to hate. Some people will leave critiques that are legitimate though. So if you see a critique on your channel and it's something legitimate, it's not just them trying to start crap, look at it, think about it, and see if you can maybe change your channel a little bit to improve it. Some people maybe come across a little more negative than they mean to, but they're just trying to help you. Don't let other people's reviews or opinions change what you're going to say about a fragrance in a video. This one can be difficult, especially when you're starting out. If you see a fragrance that you really, really like and it's getting crapped on everywhere, don't feel like you have to make a video crapping on it just to fit in. If you really like it, tell people. And vice versa, if there's a fragrance that's getting tons of love, everybody seems to love it but you hate it, let everyone know. Or even if you're just neutral on a fragrance, just don't change who you are based off of what other people are doing. Be friendly with other reviewers, other people in the fragrance community. Don't be a hater. I've seen it before in the past where people will start a channel, maybe it doesn't do as well as they were hoping, it doesn't take off as much as they think that it should, and other people start to take off that maybe started around the same time. I've seen some people get disenfranchised and go like, I deserve that too, I deserve those subscribers, I deserve those views, and instead of being supportive or being friendly with other reviewers or other people in the fragrance community, whether we're talking about on forums or on Facebook groups, they just do a 180 and they basically go to the dark side and then they just start hating on everyone. They hate on people that are popular, they hate on people that are growing quickly. They say that so-and-so doesn't know what the hell they're talking about or so-and-so is terrible and makes all these mistakes and on and on and on. If you're going to be really negative like that, you can't really expect your channel to do much of anything positive. Fragrances are really expensive, especially if we're talking about niche fragrances. So don't go thousands of dollars into debt just trying to review new releases or expensive things thinking that it's going to boost you up a little bit and make your channel grow much faster. Because most likely, it's not going to. That $120 that you spend on a brand new release so you can get that video out early is not going to help you all that much in the grand scheme of things. Review things within your means, purchase things on the cheap, shop smart, look for good deals, and understand that the main things that are gonna help you grow your channel is you yourself, your personality, some tight editing to make sure that people don't get disinterested and leave two minutes into the video, and then any time that they see your stuff pop up, they go, I don't like that channel. The content of your video in the sense of, are you trying to make something that's easily accessible to lots of people, or are you trying to make an in-depth review? Figure out what you're trying to do and stick to it. And consistency. Consistency is very important. And that is key. You have to set aside a lot of time to make this work. Above all else, do not be afraid. It's awkward sitting in front of a camera, especially initially. You might come off really awkward. You might feel weird about it, but you'll get over that in time. Make sure to reach out to your fellow reviewers just in the comments section. Let them know that you watch their video. Uh, if people comment on your video, make sure you reply. That's people taking time out of their day to comment on your video to let you know they liked it unless they're trolls and then you block them. Just remember all those things I said. Try to put those into work in your channel and hopefully you will see some benefits. I'm going to leave Parfums Vintage's social media in the description. If you could give that a like or a follow, I'd really appreciate it because they're giving a bottle away for free just to be part of this 10,000 subscriber celebration and I really, really appreciate that. So if you could do that, you'd be doing me a solid. And as far as the Virgin Island water goes, just subscribe and like the video. That's all. And leave a comment that you want to be entered. Otherwise, I won't be able to find you on the random comment picker. All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate all of your support. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, link is in the description. Feel free to do so. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.